Okay. Say it with me. Say it, say it with me. I banned it. Or banned it. Will not. Will not. Chase the shih tzus. What? What? Chase shih tzus? Chase shih tzus? You want me to go chase shih tzus? Okay. Welcome back to the good old Southern IA and another day of harvest 2021. That's it, Ben's finally lost it. Unsubscribe, he's done. Cutting him off. But now you actually heard me right. We've got to go pick some corn here today. Because of one of my leases, it's actually with the DNR and I have to leave a little bit of crop every single year to feed the wildlife throughout the winter. On the 1st of March, that crop becomes mine again. So this year I think I have about three and a half to four acres of corn standing out in the field. So we're gonna fire up the combine and we're gonna go pick that today. And realistically, this is what we planned on doing today. We took the corn head up to where the field is last yesterday, I guess last night, but then it rained last night too. And I went out there, the field checked it. It was slippery. I was kind of conscientious. I said, yeah, let's wait and push it to tomorrow. But dad said, let's get her done. So is there a chance of getting stuck today? Mm -hmm. To do this, I'm gonna need the trusty high V truck, which I just talked up. So this thing's butt better start. It won't, it ain't gonna start. This thing's like dead all the time. The excitement level's rising. There's at least power on the key. But it fades fastly. These are the ears from uh, down there. Not very heavy. Oh, they're light. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Give it to me. Give it to me. You, if you want me to throw it, you gotta give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. There you go. Ready? You gotta let me throw it before you catch it. Ready? And right in the mud. I'd say that's a definite replace one for fall. Oil was changed at 1692. 87 years old on the 23rd of this month and I guess I asked you guys window cleaner I asked you guys I guess if you would to send him a couple of birthday cards it really doesn't even have to be a card or anything like that just a little writing on a piece of paper and I'll give it to him for his birthday the PO box is down in the description and I guess I'll put it down here but let's get down the road
Yeah. <laughs> Some of these are bigger than others. We're gonna need all this to hold on my corn. We might need two semis. The first corn that this combine actually ever picked was a deer plot. It was a deer plot, I remember. It was that. a deer plot two, two, it had to be two years ago then. And I don't know what I was doing, but I asked Dad to go see if there was any corn out there, if they, any was left in the field at all. There was some here too, except for the DNR, they lit it on fire. They burned about, what, four acres here? Yeah. yeah, they burned about four acres of our corn on accident, we hope. But so we went to go pick the other part, and where my dad walked in to get an ear, there was an ear there, but that was probably the only part of the whole like three acres that were over there that had any corn. Worst part was, is I forgot to close the rock trap, so the part that actually had corn got thrown directly onto the ground. The rest of that entire time, we had enough corn to cover the cross augers. It was a very failed adventure. But my dad got a little bit of corn from the cross augers. <laughs> Stuck yet? We might get her, bud. Oh, what, what, what? Let's go pick some corn. Don't forget your mask, though, bud. So, fun fact: this is my first field of cover crops. I know it's hard to tell, but it has cereal rye growing in it. The stand sucks tremendously. But I'm pretty sure that cereal rye all kind of coming up right through there a little bit. Part of this lease is they wanted me to actually put cover crops out, which I was okay with trying out, but cover crops in our area is hard to implement. Now there are people that are doing it successfully, but on a large scale, there's I haven't found the economic way of doing it. Well, I guess I kind of did. So I had this broadcast with some fertilizer and the cereal rye was in that. I wanted to vertical till in lightly the cereal rye to try and get it growing. Uh, but this is supposed to be a no-till field and they said no vertical tillage. So it just got broadcast and that's what we've got so far. Wanna go up on the combine? Oh, you ain't missed a beat, have you? It's like yesterday. It's like yesterday. He's like, Dad, you Yeah, golly. Whoa! Excuse you. Are you gatekeeping? Can I go in the combine? Can I go in the combine? Huh? Beep, beep. Deep. All right, y'all better pay attention. Now, hopefully, this don't take very long. be one of those if you know it's good for you you just leave it because that was wet and I started sliding I ain't gonna get stuck today sorry YouTube 
yeah, we did. Made it over that. Oh yeah, he, he moved. <laughs> you hear that beep? Bandit moves his butt when that beep comes because his usually lays down there by the brake pedal release, which is that little lever right there. And needless to say, his uh, tail's been caught there once or twice under my foot. He moves it pretty quick now. Some of you might be wondering why the heck, or how the heck are we running a 12 row head on a 9670 combine? And yeah, we farm in Iowa, and Iowa's known for growing great corn, but we probably farm in the poorest counties in Iowa, I would say. I believe Appanoose County's 10 year production history, or APH, it's like 142 bushels on corn and Wayne County's just about in that same area and the ground that we run is not like 70 CSR dirt it's 40s 50, 40s low 50s uh, most of it I would say so we can run this 12 row head and when we get into the 200 bushel corn we have to slow down and we want to slow down anyways to enjoy it because it doesn't happen very often September head. catch up with you guys here after we get back gonna do a little wrap up see how much corn we actually got all this corn is like a bonus to me it's like yeah I had to grow it but it was pretty much a write-off so that's pretty much just yeah like a bonus driveway for the hay shed that way it's out of the way when Andrew comes back he can reload his truck how many bushels do you think we got what's your guess uh, I didn't even look up <laughs> Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. You're doing, I was, I was closer to 250. I'll take three and a quarter though. I'll sell it to you right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy it. No, no, I was like 300. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he's lazy. Get up here. Get up here. You sucker. Forty-three, four hundred. We weighed twenty-seven thousand even. I'll rock sixteen fifty a ton right now. We weighed forty-three, four hundred loaded. Divided by fifty-six, two hundred ninety-two eight five. And the winner is me. Well, no, you said three fifty, and I was no, thinking. No, I said three twenty-five. You gotta fudge oh. my guess. <laughs> Just so you could win. <laughs> 292 bushels or 293 bushels harvested today first time I've ever sold corn for five bucks uh, over five bucks actually so I'm gonna thank you guys for hanging out with us down here if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out we've got a lot of content coming at you pretty darn quick things are gonna be ramping up faster than you know it we've got oats to seed hay fields to seed uh, drainage work to do fence line clearing more we've got it's 
it's piling up pretty fast. We're going to run out of days before we run out of tasks, it feels like. But thanks again. We'll be taking you guys with us. We'll see you then. How do you eat these? Do you peel them? No. I just wash just them. Just cut them. You cut, you cut them? Yeah. Wayne says we can eat these toad rashes. I don't know. I don't I've been told you can eat them. I just haven't given myself a. I'll try them. Yeah. I'll cut off the outside, even though I washed it. Oh. I don't know. Huh? I don't know about that. Does that taste right? Does that taste right? No. Does that yeah, taste yeah. right? Does that taste right? They are hot. Are they supposed to be hot? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like it. That is hot. You have a hot one. They're hot. Why? I didn't know they could be hot. Oh my god. Just in the air. <laughs> That's like screaming hot. Let me, you got a cut a little? <coughs> I don't know, Wayne. I don't yeah, know, buddy. Give me a sliver. See if it's hot. It isn't bad. Just like this one. That ain't right. That is weird. You know it was good. <laughs> well, I know it's not. If this is good, then I do not know what's good. <laughs> 